Hi everyone, Dexter here. We're talking about creating a culture of collaboration and problem solving. Last time we talked about needing to build foundational safety and acceptance such that people feel that they belong. Today we're talking about authenticity, which means being true to oneself. It's about honesty. As you build relationships with members of your team or members of uh, other team members of your uh, startup or organization, enabling others to be vulnerable starts by being vulnerable yourself. Once you have that foundation of safety and, and acceptance, it's okay to do that, to take that step forward in doing that. Uh, by enabling, by being vulnerable, and by enabling others to be vulnerable, you invite people to both give feedback without fear of judgment and that you can take feedback without feeling threatened. In the context of meetings, it comes to very specific frameworks. And my recommendation by enab uh, enabling people to give honest feedback, direct feedback, and productive feedback is by separating divergent uh, conversation from convergent conversation. In divergent space, you enable people to generate new and additional and separate ideas. You want to enable people to finish their complete thought without judgment. Every statement is okay in divergent thinking, in a divergent part of your meeting. You want to be able to enable people to take risks without having fear of being critiqued or judged or being off. Now, convergent thinking is the part of a meeting when you enter into synthesis, when you prioritize, uh, when you give feedback and take feedback and um, start to merge ideas together uh, based on what the context is of what you're working on. I'll say this in contrast to confrontation or advocacy-oriented um, ideation. In a confrontation or advocacy-oriented format, you're really about defending an idea, having a debate based on data, and trying to win other people over to your side. Convergent thinking is really about synthesis, trying to shape the same idea together by merging different points of view and tackling different elements of a problem. And there's many frameworks out there. So what I wanted to talk to you, what I want to bring out today is that by enabling yourself to be vulnerable, by being open to feedback, and by creating space for people to make a case or lay an observation or provide feedback without fear of judgment, brings out the best thinking from people. It enables people to take risks and it gives you more material and substance to be able to merge together when you get to the point where you're creating synthesis. So more on this later. I'm, I'm very interested to hear what kinds of frameworks that you use that has been effective at both divergent thinking, convergent, convergent thinking, and facilitating problem-oriented spaces in meeting formats. Okay, until next time. Thanks.